Hey guys, what is going on? Bobbles here. So today I'm bringing you a video based on the John Wick version 2 skin plus the Wix bounty challenges that we shall be seeing within the next week potentially. Maybe with the first update that we received, version 9.1 update, we could get this with it. So it's very exciting stuff. I'm going to be telling you guys everything to do with the challenges, how to complete them and what's actually going to be coming with it. So very exciting stuff. Make sure you watch the entire video of the video to find out everything about this John Wick event and finally before I do jump in the video I just want to say a couple of things number one subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy the content two leave a like on the video if you do find it useful and three if you do want to help support me then please use create code bobbles in the Fortnite item shop I did just change it so if this is the first time you've heard me say code bobbles instead of Bobby Thompson 18 then make sure you update it in the item shop but anyway cracking on with the video so if you didn't know then the third film John Wick 3 actually is just being released and you know what Fortnite loves to do they love to make partnerships with these film companies to try and get promotion on both ends obviously so just like what we've just had with the end game event where we got the end game LTM there is going to be something coming very similar but in the form of John Wick so obviously an LTM what's it going to be not too sure on the whole LTM but we know the factors that are going to be inside it so these factors kind of come hinted with the challenges and these challenges did indeed get leaked so I'm going to be telling you all of these challenges and how to complete them so we'll start off with the first one, win a match of Wix Bounty. So it's quite straightforward. I doubt that it's going to be a typical kind of solo duo squad smoke because it's to win a match. Some people won't necessarily be able to do that. So I do think it's going to be more closer along the sides of a team-based matchmaking. Sort of like you 50 versus 50, but have some sort of aspect of John Wick within it. The next challenge is to play matches seven. Pretty straightforward. You normally have play matches seven as one of the daily challenges. So it's just that again, but of this game mode. Third challenge is to collect gold coins. Now you need to collect 150 of these in total. Moving on to the next challenge which is very similar is to collect gold coins in a single match 25 so I'm going to stop there on the challenges and just tell you guys a bit more about these gold coins. So how do you get these gold coins? Well, a matter of fact, when you get a kill or an opponent dies, then they will drop a coin. They will drop one of these gold coins. So you have to obviously go over to them and collect them. Now, if you've ever played Call of Duty, which a lot of you probably have, then it's basically kill confirmed in that. Where they drop the tags and you go over collect them and the first team to 75 wins. So that potentially could be what this exact game mode is it could literally be a big game of kill confirmed maybe it's the first team to 100 coins i.e the hoe as well collect 25 in a single match you can collect your own and teammates so that would be interesting but yeah you gotta bear that in mind these coin challenges these previous two they are both done by going over to a dead enemy and picking up the coin straightforward and uh, yeah i'm kind of excited for this if that's what exactly how the game mode goes as a kind of kill confirmed i'm really looking forward to it and i think it'll be a lot of fun but moving on finally to the last challenge it is indeed to deal damage with a combat shotgun now you have to do 500 damage so it's not too bad now the combat shotgun was the shotgun that has been added into the game in the replacement of the pump being vaulted combat shotgun it has had a bit of flaws within the fact that it was very irregular shooting but i've gave it a go literally today since uh, fortnite have actually updated it and tweaked it a little bit and is feeling a lot more consistent now you're shooting and it's kind of like 60 to 80 say rather than being 20 100 if that makes sense the damage that you're getting it within the same range is very much similar now so it's a lot better the combat shotgun in my opinion as of when it was first released so we've got to give it a go we've got to give fortnite a bit of time to kind of tweak this gun a bit more but that is indeed the final challenge for the wix bounty challenges so really not that hard i can't imagine it being a very long event i think it will probably be closer to the kind of one week mark unlike the end games two weeks um, but yeah, it looks a bit of fun. Now, it does actually say on completing all five of the challenges, it grants Assassin Suit Coin back bling. Now, unfortunately, there is no leaked image for this back bling because it is encrypted. But by the sounds of it, it sounds pretty cool. Maybe an Assassin's backpack full of coins is pretty much what it says but just imagine that for a second that seems pretty cool to me so yeah it'll be actually quite nice to have a back thing that will go with the og john wick skin talking of john wick skin now it doesn't necessarily say that you will be getting a john wick skin by completing these challenges but that doesn't mean fortnite can't add it in now the only thing with that is 
I played back in the day season 3 and I got the John Wick skin. So does that mean now that I'm not going to have an OG skin and all these new players are going to have it as well? I don't think so. I'm really hoping Fortnite won't do that to us OG players. But I do think they're going to do some version of it. So maybe change the colour up slightly. Maybe make it a red suit, a white suit, a green suit, <laughs> any other coloured suit potentially. Um, I don't think they'll have it as the, the normal one because it's just unfair otherwise. Similar to like what they done with the Skull Trooper where they kept the OGs, the purples, and then they kind of released it in the store. I think they might do something on the lines of that. So potentially, we could be seeing a John Wick skin in the Fortnite item shop, which would be very good. Make sure if you do purchase this, if it does happen, you use code Bubbles. But getting back on track, yeah, potentially it could be in the store and they change the colour like what they've done with previous ones. As well as that, maybe even like the Red Knight, they could do something along the lines of that. It's definitely something to look out for in the item shop or with the challenges. You could, it could be either, either the skin and um, either either would work. It would just mean that if it was in the shop, they could get money from it. And if it was given to players, then anyone could get it. But that is everything about the actual challenges and everything you have to do to unlock these skin. Plus, obviously, the backlink that it says. And uh, yeah, I'm taking it. You're going to get a lot of XP from these challenges as well, which will be very nice. I do want to just add another little thing as to kind of evidence that this will be happening. And as to why we potentially should be getting the skin. Now, number one, obviously, they added in the John Wick house. Um, into this season of Fortnite. It's over by Paradise Palms. You most likely have seen it. It's got some awesome loot there But obviously a lot of people are dropping there since it is a new location So just be aware of that you want to get a gun straight away if you do drop there Another thing in John Wick does actually use the specific guns and the specific guns he used look uh, Practically identical to both the combat shotgun and the new AR that we should potentially be seeing now this AR is indeed the tactical assault rifle. It's basically like the scoped one, the kind of thermal scope on it. So potentially it could be a revamped kind of thermal assault rifle that we've had that just got vaulted. And yeah, this is a leaked weapon in Fortnite, as well as being a weapon that is in the John Wick films. So potentially there could be some sort of partnership with that. Maybe we could be seeing a wrap that we could put on these weapons, which is similar to the John Wick. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm going too far there. But yeah, this weapon. Potentially then, when these challenges, when this John Wick LTM goes live, we could potentially the same day be seeing the introduction for this tactical assault rifle. It does make sense since the combat shotgun, which is also another weapon that John Wick uses, is already in the game. So maybe this tactical assault rifle will be coming the same day as the John Wick LTM. It's definitely something very exciting and something to bear in mind. Potentially this week on Thursday in the next couple of days, or even maybe then next week. I, I think next week will probably be the latest we shall be seeing it. So keep your eyes peeled for this event. Super, super exciting stuff. Leave a like on the video if you are excited for this John Wick LTM. Subscribe to me for more Fortnite content. Use code BOWLS in the Fortnite IM shop. And anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See ya.